Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 10 of Questions and Answers. In this episode, I'm going to answer three Photoshop related questions. We're going to jump right into it with this first question from Warren. In episode 7 of your series, Getting Started in Photoshop, you moved a flock of birds onto a picture. Can you rearrange the flock, move the individual birds around? Yes, it's very easy. And actually, we got this question quite a bit after I did that episode. And in this instance here, I have this flock of birds. And as you could see, I already separated the birds from the background. So we just have the birds with blank pixels all around the birds. And we're going to move these birds onto a scene, this scene here. So to do that, we get the Move tool. The Move tool is right here. You use the V key on your keyboard as the keyboard shortcut for the Move tool. Just grab any one of the birds and you'll move them all. Go up to the tab that we want to move them onto and just let go. Now we have these birds. Now they're a little big, so we're going to resize them. So I'm going to hit Command T on my keyboard. If you have a PC, you would hit Control T. That brings you into free transform mode and you could resize the birds. We're going to just grab one of the handles that are in the corner and I'm going to hold the shift key in while I pull that corner in and that will keep the proportions so we're not distorting the birds at all. And when we're happy with our resize, we just hit this checkbox. Now, what Warren is asking is can you move the individual birds around? Because if I get the move tool now and I grab a bird, I'm moving all of them. He'd like to move one or more, rearrange them. It's super easy to do. Get the lasso tool. Hit the L key on your keyboard. That's the lasso tool is right there. And simply draw around one of the birds you want to move. You'll get a selection. Go to the Move tool. Hit V on your keyboard for the Move tool and just move it. So you could go back to the lasso tool. Hit L key on your keyboard. Circle another bird. Go to the Move tool. Hit V key and move it. And you could do that over and over again. Just alternate between the lasso tool and the move tool. Let's move this one like that. Go to the move tool, hit V. And again, the move tool is this top tool, the lasso tool is the third tool down. And you could just do that. You could go through and move them anywhere you'd like by just using the lasso tool to select them, the move tool to move them. And then when you're done, you'll have one that is selected. Just hit Command or Control D to deselect it. That just takes those marching ants away, and then you're all done. So, that, so again, it's very easy to move the individual birds around after you've done that move that I've, the move of the whole flock of birds onto the image you want them on. All right, this next question is from Dave. In an episode of Getting Started in Photoshop, you replace the church windows by painting on a mask with a brush. Couldn't you just do that by taking a selection of the windows, then adding a mask? Yeah, it's, it's super easy to do. Um, we'll go back to Photoshop, and I have this image here. And this was the exact image I used. I have this image where I have the properly exposed windows. And below that, I have the image with the properly exposed room. Now, in that episode of Getting Started in Photoshop that Dave is referring to, I actually had these layers flipped. I had this layer that has the properly exposed room on top. And below that, I had this layer with the properly exposed windows. And what I did was, is I added a mask to the top layer, which was actually this layer, and I painted on the windows so that the properly exposed windows came through the mask. And I will link to that video below this video, and I will link to that other video with the flock of birds below this video so you could watch those episodes to see exactly what we're talking about. Now what Dave is asking is to do a selection and you could it, it very easily do a selection if um, in this configuration with the top layer being the properly exposed windows I mean you could get any of the selection tools and try like the quick selection tool and do a selection of the windows like this and you could just go on window to window and get a good selection I'm going to hit Command D to deselect it. I think a better way to select these windows in a quicker way is to use a little used selection tool. It's up here in the menu. It's under the Select menu. And you want to go down to Focus Area. 
and you'll come up with this focus area dialog box and you could see it selected the windows automatically so we'll just click OK and we're gonna have a selection there and then we could just click this mask icon down here in the bottom right panel and you automatically will get the mask with your windows masked in so as you can see it's a lot easier and faster using that selection tool called focus area in this case and I mentioned in the past that I will be doing a new Photoshop video series that's going to be more advanced techniques and it's not going to have as much structure as the getting started in Photoshop series did whereas in the getting started in Photoshop series I wanted to uh, take you along teaching you Photoshop a little by little the next series is going to be more like a technique you could do that's maybe a more advanced technique and it's going to jump around a little bit and this would be something that would probably be good for that series so look for that in the very new near future probably early next week maybe even the end of this week so our last question on this episode of questions and answers is from Jay I'm in the photography workspace like you but my left and right panels are hidden and won't appear unless I hover the mouse in that area can I make the panels always appear yeah um, we'll go back to Photoshop and what Jay is referring to we have the left panel here which is our tools and over here we have the right panel which includes the layer panel and channels and paths and adjustments and all that stuff and he's saying he's in the photography workspace and you see if I click right here we have all these different workspaces but what Jay is saying is these panels are hidden. Well, he may have inadvertently hit the tab key. If you hit the tab key, they'll go away. And if you hover over in that area, they'll reappear and then they'll disappear again when you take the cursor away. To get them back, just hit the tab key again. So the tab key kind of makes those uh, side panels hidden. And by the way, that's the same thing for... Uh, Lightroom right now I have them hidden if I hover over here it should reappear well actually I don't uh, and with Lightroom you have to click on that little triangle right there but if you hit tab they'll reappear and hit tab again they'll disappear in Lightroom so that's what's happening just hit tab on your keyboard J and that will take care of that all right that's it for episode 10 of questions and answers thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon.